What is going on guys? I am Consumer Tech Review and today we are going to be building a keyboard out of Legos. Now I was a Lego fanatic as a kid. These are some of the Legos, one fifth of the amount of Legos that I had as a kid. And we're going to be building a full mechanical keyboard out of these today. I'm very excited about this one. Okay, now for the base of the keyboard, not the base because obviously that's going to be the case, but for the plate, I had a spare 007, Acomod 007. So we're going to take this one apart. We've got an FR4 plate right here. So right away, we're going to take this apart. And if you guys want to check out anything that I'm using, the keycaps or whatever I'm using in this video, there are Amazon links below and Akko links below and whatever, third link below as well. You can check it out in that corner right there. So let's get this undone. And we're literally just gonna be using the plate, the PCB, and I think that's it. So really you could take any plate and PCB out of any budget board, or whatever. If it's hot swap, it's good. That is if you want to copy me and do this. Now, I am not trying to make this just a cool looking keyboard. I want you to actually be able to sit on my desk and use it like a real Lego keyboard, which it will be. Okay, now with those undone, we're gonna remove the cable. We've got some padding in here, which we're just gonna put back in here. There's the PCB, that's what we really want. And the knob, so our, our keyboard is going to have a knob, which is gonna be awesome. Okay, so there's the knob. Now we just have to take off the USB-C and having this separated will make it so much easier when building the case out of the Legos. All right, now we are done. We don't need any of this anymore. And rather than using this color match plate, I think we're gonna use the FR4 plate. Actually, maybe metal will be better. So we're actually gonna keep the metal plate. Well, no, we're not. All right, so we're actually gonna switch this to the FR4 plate. Not really any big difference in change. Not really that big of a difference. If it seems like I'm rushing through this, it's because I just wanna play with Legos. All right, so let's flip this plate over get these screws out so that we can swap the plates over. All right, now with those out, we're gonna take out the EVA foam that's in between this plate. We're not gonna use this or this. And there we go. We've got our USB-C, our plate, and our PCB. There we go. Now for this specific build, I'm gonna be putting PE foam. I love the creamy builds and it's a Lego. We need to use this, obviously. So we're gonna place this on here. Actually, we're gonna place it on the plate, just like that, flip it over. Grab yourself an X-Acto knife or something to cut it and we're just gonna cut out those stabilizers. All right, there we go, PE foam cut out. Now moving on, take the plate, place the PE foam how it's supposed to go. And we're gonna have to cut out this volume knob. And because this is a totally custom build, like the case is actually truly custom because it's a Lego. So excited. We're just gonna leave the PE foam instead of cutting the outside just for right now. Now for the switches, I don't actually remember what these switches were, but they'll be like linked below if you wanna use them. I think these are pre-lubed or factory lubed, so they're not the best lubing job, but they're pretty cool looking and nice feeling switches um, for being just factory lubed, or I believe they're factory lubed. Yeah, they're pretty, actually pretty smooth, five pin switches. I like them. Okay, so we're gonna get these in there, put all, one of our switches in, these are north facing, uh, LEDs with the Mod 007, and we're gonna punch it through. And guys, the very last switch, there we go. Okay, all the switches are in. Now, before we do the stabilizers, because I don't wanna do the stabilizers in bottom, but I will. I'm using these Aseni plate-mounted stabilizers. These are the best plate-mounted stabilizers, in my opinion. Fits super tight, but you have to holy mod them. They're made to be holy modded, and, well, I don't like holy modding. So. Right now, we're just going to do this off camera. For now, we're gonna build the case out of Legos, the best part. Let's do it. All right, so picking up our bin of Legos. I'm gonna have to move this plant a little bit. So now we're first going to need a base, and I'm gonna do a thick kind of custom-y style looking thing. We're gonna do a dual layer. So it's gonna be two, these aren't two bricks, what are those called? Whatever, it's gonna be two of these thick. So first we're gonna lay out a base and then we're gonna get the width down. Well, I want this to be a fairly wide build, so I think that's about good. Then we're gonna connect all of these, making sure to not do it evenly. It's easier to get four than it is to get five. All right guys, so now we got the length and the width. Again, we want this to be a fairly thick build. We're gonna kinda have thicker edges on this. So there we got the length and the width. Now we just need to fill everything in. All right, we've got to plug the mic in, so it's plugged in now. However, the very last piece, which is this piece, right in this tiny little crevice, and there we go. So now the base is finished. You can see this is how big it's gonna be. It's gonna have kind of an edge to it, but this is the fun part. Now we put this there, and that's how it's gonna kind of sit. So we're gonna need three rows on each side, and then four on the top and bottom, and that'll be absolutely perfect. So three on the sides, four on the top and bottom. If we wanted to make it stylistic, we would actually do three on the bottom, five on top, and then three on the side. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna work on that, and then we're gonna have to somehow get this USB-C sitting about right there. We're gonna plug this in to check it right now, plugging that in. All right, all plugged in, and then 
this will sit, it's gonna be kind of interesting. So three on the bottom, five on top, it's gonna to kind of sit like right there. Okay, so four over, it's gonna stop. I'm gonna put a brick there right now. It's gonna sit kind of like that. So three on each side, five on the top, and it's gonna sit there. Perfect, all right. Now is the incredibly fun part of being able to build this around the Lego. So it's gonna sit just like that. It's gonna be absolutely perfect. Or if we didn't want it to sit on the outside, we actually put the cable inside of it, which we might actually do. So let's switch that. Let's put a four piece or a two wide right in there. And it should sit just like that. So that opening is only like that and then we'll stick the cable inside of it. That will be so cool. Kind of a hidden compartment cable-ish area. Be hard to disattach it, but that's okay. So now all we have to do is just build up the outside and then we're gonna use this style of thick, kind of like packing foam on the inside to kind of sandwich it between the top and bottom. And they're gonna do an overhang and it's gonna look awesome. All right guys, we got three on the sides, three in the front, and then three on the top. Now we do have to do five on the top, so let's actually set this in here, make sure it fits, and it does. This is coming together so well. I am so happy about this so far. And then this sits deep in there, which is pretty much good. So now all we're gonna have to do is do two here and then leave this space for the cable. So, okay, so starting here, we're gonna do the full five going down. This is so much fun. If you guys have not built a keyboard with Legos, you're gonna have to do it after this. This is just too great. All right, and there it is. Now, if we compare the height of this to an average mechanical custom keyboard, like the Mod 007, we can see here is the height difference. So this is gonna need to be at least twice the height, probably three times, probably just twice the height and add a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna build this up and it'll happen very fast for you in three, two, one. Bam, and there we go. Built up five on top and then three on every other corner and check that out. It fits absolutely perfectly. It was made to sit in there. How perfect is that? And this will go just like that. So freaking good. Okay, now we need to cut out the case foam, the case dampening, because we don't want plate on or PCB on Lego. So I'm gonna use this, I don't know if it's two millimeter thick EVA foam, it's just the thicker style EVA foam. Move these Legos aside. And we're gonna move this up and cut the inside length of this. This will be pretty easy. We'll just go from there and right to here. And then we'll use this Lego as a square. Cut straight down. Then cut straight over again using the Lego as a square. All right, and there is the piece of dampening. That was actually cut very nicely. And it definitely does not fit in there. I don't know how I did my measurements, but the side is pretty much good. This bottom needs to be cut quite a bit. And there it is, absolutely perfectly. And then, I don't think we actually need any dampening up with that cable. Okay, now we are ready. Let's place this in here and see how it fits. Uh, and that's basically made for that. Absolutely perfectly. It's sitting very perfectly at deck height. You can see there it's almost perfect at deck height, which is good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of do an overhang like that, but it's gonna need to be five overhangs. So it's gonna need to go to there, maybe not. A single overhang goes to there, double will be too much. Okay, so we're gonna do a, a single overhang on the sides, a single overhang on the top, and on the front we have something special. There are smooth top Legos, and then there are these style Legos, which are the more rough kind, where you actually can place things on top of it. So we're gonna do this kind, on the front, so when you rest your hands, you don't get an imprint of a Lego, but it's smooth. But then on the side, we're gonna do this kind of rough stuff, and I think it's gonna look very, very cool. So that's kind of what we're gonna put on that side. All right, but that'll happen in three, two. All right, guys, so we've got that done. So the front of this, as you can see, is all this smooth thing, and it looks really, really cool. It looks kind of retro-y. Obviously, these were Legos when I was growing up, born in 2001, so these are a little bit different than they are now. My personal favorite, but that's also the uh, nostalgia. So this is the back of it. it. looks super, super cool. Okay, so now there's a couple of issues that we have. So first of all, this plate was designed with the things going over right here, down here, around this, stuff like that. So that has to be addressed. Then the other issue is this slightly moves like that. Now it fits in there very well, but it slightly moves. So what I'm gonna do is we have this foam underneath it. So on top of it, between these overhang, cause there's like an overhang on this section. So this kind of overlaps right there. So what we're gonna do is take this thinner EVA foam and then we're gonna sandwich it between the Legos and the plate, and hopefully that will press it down enough where it won't move. Then what we're gonna do is take single stacks, single rows, 
like this. And we're going to put them between here and there and do a double stack on top of that to kind of give it that 75% broken up look. Very good. So that's what we're gonna work on right now. Well, but before we start, I'm gonna plug in a cable right away. Uh, and for that cable, we are going to use a mint green Aseni custom coiled cable. I love these cables. They're budget friendly, 25 bucks, link below if you wanna check them out. So I am gonna plug those in before we put that top back on. We still have to do the stabilizers. Again, I'm gonna leave that right until the end. They're plate mounted stabilizers so we can actually do them at the end. Okay, but opening up this awesome cable. Actually, this is super green. I love it. It'll match the vibe perfectly. So we're gonna take this and we are going to plug it in just like that. And then that fits in there absolutely perfectly. That is so, so funny. Um, I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of move this back and then we're gonna cut out a little edge for all of this. There is a small edge. We're gonna try this on this section up here. So first we remove these panels and then we kind of put these pieces just there like that and then put the panels back. They are definitely pressing down, which is a very good thing. That means it's hopefully working. It stopped the top from moving. Uh, and then when we do it to the rest of the board, it should stop the rest of it from moving. So that's a good thing. All right, let's keep going with this. Uh, okay, so next we gotta do this section. And then with this section, we're going to do, again, these little pieces right here. Guys, I cannot over exaggerate this enough. If you haven't built a keyboard, out of Legos, man, you gotta do it. It is so much fun to actually build the case yourself, uh, but in an easy way that's really fun and enjoyable. This is very cool. Okay, so then placing these down, it nicely presses down the plate. That is so perfect. And then the same thing on the other side. All right, placing that in there and then putting back on all of the edge pieces. Very, very good. All right, now hopefully, yeah, that's tightened it down a lot. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. Okay, that worked way better than I thought it would. But let's continue on with this. Okay, so you saw I put the knob on right there, but now we need these separator pieces right there. So what we're gonna do is take this, go four over like that, and then we will literally just go like that. And that fits there perfectly. This was made to be done, absolutely. And then from here, I just need to look for those and kind of do that all over the board. That's what we're gonna do right now. All right, guys, so I was unable to put this section in, and that is because if you put those on, it hits the switches with the keycaps on. So the keycaps hit it, so we can't do that. So that's gonna be kind of blank there. This would work better with a 60%, a 75%. That's not a split design, but I did put a strip along the bottom right there, and it's kind of raised up, so it looks pretty cool. And I also got the stabilizers in, so we are ready to put the keycaps on and then kind of fill in the top part to make it not look so boring. But to do the keycaps, we're not just gonna do a single set because we could try to custom make keycaps to do Lego keycaps, but that would take forever. And that may be another video, but not today's video. But what we are gonna do is mix and match a bunch of different sets to create this kind of Legoed out effect. Let's do it. All right, guys, and putting the keycaps on starts with all of these keywords here. So we're gonna do a yellow space bar, a bronzy yellow space bar, pink backspace to match that pink volume meal right there, very good. And guys, there we go. We've got a bunch of keycaps off a bunch of different boards and it matches so freaking perfectly, especially with this bottom part down here. That looks so freaking good. It looks so good because it's mismatchy, but that's what it's supposed to be in Lego form. Okay, so now let's get a bunch of these keyboards off the desk and start customizing the top plate. Okay, so now that all of that's off there, we are gonna do kind of like a grassy, greeny, leafy growth of stuff on the top. That's gonna be kind of the idea with this green cable. So I'm gonna start putting together some stuff. I want it to be diverse, different, really different. It's gonna be a special keyboard for sure. And guys, look at how good that looks. This looks so cool and diverse. I love that it's three dimensional, but is it ever finished without a Lego person? There we go, okay. Tanked up, ready for anything. He's gonna be sitting right next to the volume knob ready for anything. Absolutely, guys, there we go. But now is the time where we turn it on and actually use this thing, test it out, get a little bit of a sound test, let's do it. Again, if you wanna check out anything I use in this video, Amazon links below. Although to get keycaps just like this, we're talking a lot of money. All right, let's plug it in. There we go, guys, all of that RGB behind. I think it came out really, really good. But now I'm gonna put the mic close to the keyboard and we are actually gonna do a full sound test in a few seconds, but Right now I wanna get my reaction. That actually sounds so good. And it's all made out of Legos, guys. What the heck? I'm actually gonna put it on the board and see if that does anything.
All right, guys, but this was my Lego build of a custom mechanical keyboard, but take a listen to the full sound test. I had a ton of fun making this, but take a listen to the full sound test in three, two, one, take a listen. <laughs>